Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today I have a bunch of gingerbread Christmas DIYs for you using supplies from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing we're going to do is I need to make a new coffee bar sign for my coffee bar. I'm going to decorate it for Christmas and I really want it to be like a gingerbread theme and I came up with some fun ideas. A lot of these you could also do for like a tear tray if you wanted or just for decor. So I have this great flip sign, thrift flip sign that I got at Goodwill and you guys have seen me make this over like 10 times. <laughs> so I'm just kind of removing the stuff I had on there for my fall coffee bar sign. I really like this sign because it's like a wood palette. It's really sturdy. It's a perfect size for the top of my coffee bar that I built. And um, I just kind of need a blank slate. So I just removed everything I had glued on there and we're just gonna paint the whole thing white just to have a blank slate because I want to paint it like a bright red for Christmas. And I'm doing a lot of red and white and I thought that would make it really pop against my wall. I have like a white shiplap wallpaper. And so I think the red sign would look really nice against the white. So just giving it a simple paint job with some acrylic paint. And I want to make this like look like a hand painted sign, but I um, didn't want to actually do the stenciling and stuff like that. So I'll show you how I do it. I end up using my Cricut, um, but you totally could use like the poster letters to make a sign like this from the Dollar Tree and paint over it. I just kind of wanted this to be a quick and easy DIY. And so we've almost got this painted white. I had a lot of stuff glued on there and I'm gonna try to avoid doing that today because it's a lot to clean up and then you have holes like this and you have to patch them and stuff like that to kind of get a smooth surface. But the great thing about like a, a real wood sign like this is that you know you can like paint it as many times as you want and remake this over and over. And I kind of like remaking the sign too, just because I um, don't have to store it. I can just make it new every single time for my coffee bar. Now, since this is going to be a gingerbread man theme, I got one of these little wood gingerbreads from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to give him like a really cool paint job. I really want him to stand out. He's going to be like a really focal piece on the coffee bar. And I tried to get as many like gingerbread things as I could find from the Dollar Tree. I just need to paint him a gingerbread color. I don't really have that color. So I'm just going to mix some colors together. I had some like deep brown from the Dollar Tree, some white, and I added a little yellow just to kind of get the right shade. Um, if you don't have the right shade, you can usually mix colors together if you've got like a good, you know, base amount of colors. This is the first time I've used like the Dollar Tree paint, I think. It actually was fine. Um, I never really pick it up because I've never really heard much about it. It was a little bit thin, but um, totally worked. Now this has all the little bump outs, like the little bow tie, the icing, the buttons, but I just went ahead and painted everything brown just because it was easier at that point. And then we can go back and do frosting. I'm just gonna use white acrylic if you have like white hot glue, that would work really well too. I really want to buy some of that. I saw somebody else craft with that and I'm kind of obsessed. So I need to get on Amazon and order some of that. Maybe I'll put some in my Amazon shop too. And I'm just going to start painting the little bump out parts white to kind of make it look like icing. It does require a couple coats of that to get it, you know, really white and make it pop. I'm also going to go ahead and paint the bow tie white too, just so I can make this a brighter color um, without that brown background. 
And I kind of switched to a makeup sponge because I find it easier to work with than the brush sometimes on these little projects from the Dollar Tree. But he's so cute. He's got like real little buttons on him. So we can go ahead and pick those white too, just so I can go back and paint those a color. I want to do this a very traditional a red, white, and green color scheme. But I also want it to look like he's got frosting like all around his sides. So using a white paint pen, I'm just going to go all the way around. This is going to make it help it pop too when we paint the sign red. Um, really kind of make him stand out. My white paint pens, I don't know, I think I used them too much because I was struggling with this. <laughs> I switched a couple times and they didn't want to work too great. <laughs> and I'm painting this all around. Then I just draw on some eyes with the white paint pen as well. As you can tell, I'm like switching white paint pens going, does anything work? And then a red paint pen just to do a simple little smile, no nose or anything, on our little gingerbread man. And then I decided we should do the bow tie in green. So I'm going to do that with a paint pen as well. Just that red and green color scheme. It's going to be very festive, very traditional Christmas colors. And some red on those cute little buttons on the front. Another coat of green to kind of blend that out and then a red paint pen we can like decorate it even more make it even fancier with some little squiggles of icing on his arms and his legs decided I wasn't a big fan of the eyes and um, I decided that I kind of wanted them to bump out so I'm going to use some of those little wood half beads I just had some left over from another project and I thought those would be the perfect size for little eyes you could use buttons as well too I do want them to be black though, so I'm just going to use a black paint pen and simply paint those a dark color. And we can attach those to the front of the gingerbread man. And he's looking pretty good. So just a dot of hot glue. And this looks a lot better to me. I kind of like the 3D vibe of it. And then I thought maybe also outlining uh, the little green bow tie with white and the buttons would make them kind of stand out as well. He's looking really cute. I kept switching back to a paintbrush just because the paint pens weren't doing it for me. I guess I need to get some new ones. And there he is. He's all painted. And now we can start painting this sign. I want to do it red. It's a kind of a big sign. And so I'm just going to use... Um, one of these little paint roller sets from the Dollar Tree. Such a good deal. You get a paintbrush, gloves, a roller, and a tray. And I'm going to use this bright red. I think this was called Fire Red um, acrylic paint. And it's such a big sign. It takes about one bottle of that. Um, just going all over. And since we did that nice white background, you can see that the color is really bright red. And it's really popping. This is going to be the perfect background for our gingerbread man and for our lettering on our sign. Looking pretty good. And I just went to my Cricut and I cut out Gingerbread Bakery. Um, I took some existing fonts and I modified them. I will try to remember to share that in the description below, my Cricut files, if you want to recreate this sign. And I just use white vinyl that I get on Amazon. That's available in my Amazon shop below too. It works really well. It works better than the Dollar Tree. You don't have to worry about the back sticking to your mat and stuff like that. And so just using my little Cricut Bright Pad, we are just going to weed this. Different font. I did a larger, simpler font for the bakery part. And I did these to size like 4 inches by 14 inches. And this is that paper transfer paper that I love so much. I have that in my Amazon shop as well too. It works so great for vinyl and makes it so easy. Now normally, you know, I do like hand painted signs. So I do a lot of stencils. But this time we're just going to do the vinyl. It's only going to need to be up you know, through Christmas. And so I think this is going to be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it. That paper is see-through enough that you can kind of line up where you want it to be, but it's not too sticky. So I love it. So gingerbread bakery, I'm not going to do anything on the bottom because I usually have stuff sitting in my coffee bar there, kind of blocking that part of the sign. And then to kind of prevent gluing up my sign too much, 
there was a hole in the gingerbread so i'm just going to use that to nail the gingerbread on and avoid some later glue removal <laughs> And there it is. We have our little gingerbread bakery sign. This is the perfect start for our gingerbread coffee bar for Christmas. It's so cute. Okay, um, you'll have to wait around for the final reveal to see how everything looks together, but let's keep moving. This one is going to be a snow globe DIY. I got this great plain snow globe at the Dollar Tree. And it had a string on there already, but you can't really paint it or anything with that on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the twine and the glue that was left over. And I want to do a little gingerbread scene, but it's kind of dark brown. So I thought just one coat of white acrylic paint is going to give me a good background to work with this. And I want to use those little treat bags you see there. I found those at the Dollar Tree. They're a little gingerbread man in front of a gingerbread house. And it's a treat bag, but I thought I could use that to make a really cool image for the snow globe. It's almost the perfect size. So I'm just going to take one of those treat bags. I'm going to kind of use it like you would use like a window cling. And I'm just going to cut the bag in half because there is like an image on both sides. And then we can attach that to our snow globe. Such an easy way to a DIY a project and the theme is perfect with a little gingerbread man and the gingerbread house. He fits on there really good. Only like one of his like candy pieces like is cut off. And so just like a window decal, I'm just going to put down a thin layer of Mod Podge and lay the little plastic bag on top of our snow globe and if you can't find the plain snow globes at your dollar tree you could also do this with any of the ones they have there you could always just paint them white first and then using a sanding block i'm going to try to get off all of the excess uh plastic i do kind of have to trim up here around the bottom with scissors just because it was kind of hard to get my sanding block in there and it comes off really well and then I kind of want to seal it, so I'm going to go over it with another coat of Mod Podge just to kind of take away that glossy feel and kind of seal that against it. And I'm not going to redo the twine because it would go right across where the gingerbread man was, but I thought we could outline the border of it with some of this red and white a buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It's the perfect width to go around the sides of it. Um, and I didn't paint that part, so I thought that would be a good finishing touch. Now, I started to try to do it with Mod Podge, and it did not stick at all. I don't know if it's because the sides of the MDF there, um, it was soaking in, or if the ribbon was too, like, glossy, but totally didn't work. I had to um, attach it with hot glue. So if you're trying to do the same, you might run into some issues. So I just switch it up to hot glue, and we're just going to hot glue that ribbon all the way around. And that's the perfect little touch here on this. Um, this is pretty much all the de decorating we're going to do on this. I think it's going to turn out really cute. And it's a, a good piece. You could also use this for like a tear tray or something like that. And here he is, our little gingerbread man snow globe. Super cute and super easy. Hey guys, did you know that I have a second YouTube channel now? It's called Crafty Little Beach. It's all my DIYs in one minute or less. I'm also doing um, some beach videos over there as well. So I will uh, link that channel down below and I would love it if you come subscribe. Okay, I want to make this little uh, four by six house frame from the Dollar Tree into a gingerbread house. It's almost the perfect size for what I need. And I'm gonna, I have a really easy way to do this one as well. I was checking out all of the gift bags at Dollar Tree because they had really good selection and they had this giant bag. Like it is so, so big. I can't even get it all in there, but it was a gingerbread theme and I thought that would be perfect. I could just use this little gingerbread house on here for my coffee bar. So I'm just gonna cut that gingerbread piece out a little larger than it is. And it's almost the perfect size to fit on the front of that frame. The only thing that was bigger is that roof line, um, but that's okay. I'm going to kind of keep that, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the bottom off and just start gluing this to the frame. 
The reason I chose this frame is because it was a little larger than any of the other houses that I found at the Dollar Tree. But I'm just going to glue that on the bottom. You could also do this on foam board if you didn't have something about the same size like this. And I'm going to go ahead and trim down the sides. Now I really like the like candy cane look of the roof and it is too large, but that's okay. We can have that kind of pop out over the back of the frame. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut around that, leaving it on like that. Now I just need to kind of trim the sides a little bit and most of it fits. So then I'm going to Mod Podge it down to the sides and the top of the roof. If I ever wanted to reuse this frame, it would be really easy to take this back apart and the frame is still intact. Now, as you can see, the roof line kind of overhangs a little bit. It's got like a hanger and um, you can stand it up. So that's super convenient. I'm going to hang mine a little bit higher on my coffee bar to give it a little bit of height. And it's really glossy because it was a gift bag. So I'm going to go over the top of all of it with some more of that matte Mod Podge to kind of take away some of that luster. And this was such a quick, easy little gingerbread house for my coffee bar. And it looks so cute with everything else. This would be really cute on a tear tray as well. And I have a lot of Christmas mugs that I've collected. This one is a Santa mug that I got at Target. Super cute, like classic Santa mug. And I thought it would be great to fill this with candy canes. I picked up these candy canes at Dollar Tree. You can use candy canes for your hot cocoa your, or your coffee or just for a snack. And I think this is going to be perfect for my coffee bar. I like to use a lot of coffee mugs to decorate my coffee bar. So perfect. And then check out this cute little light up miniature house I got at the Dollar Tree. It's a gingerbread house. It lights up and it is so cute and perfect size for a tear tray or a coffee bar like this. I don't have to do anything to it. It's just perfect. And this is another Santa coffee mug that I got at Target. This is like a little bit simpler design. It's not quite the classic Santa Claus. And then I found these great like gingerbread man mini spatulas at the Dollar Tree. I thought this would be a fun like gingerbread theme to have these displayed and also using a Christmas coffee mug. Now I want to kind of sit them in there. They're kind of small though for that big mug. So I kind of want to fill that in a little bit so they'll stay in place. I'm just going to do that with like some paper, a paper bag to kind of fill up the space. And then I'm going to use some of those glitter vase filler. I got this at the party section of the Dollar Tree. It's like a white glittery snowball. And I thought that would be a perfect little Christmas touch and kind of make this look a little bit prettier. So we're just going to fill that up with those little balls. If I can get them to stay in there. <laughs> and we have our little gingerbread man um, mini spatula. And it's going to be great for the tear tray. Hey guys, I also have a private Facebook group I will link below. I would love to have you over there. I, you're going to love seeing what everybody's working on. I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest at Crafty Beach on YouTube. All one word. Very active over there. And I would love to see you there. Now check out this Dollar Tree find, this little gingerbread man warm wishes. It's like a little mini pie plate from the Dollar Tree. And I thought we could decorate it a little bit. This size of the green foam piece fits in there almost perfectly. I didn't have a new one, but I have an old one. So we're just going to go ahead and reuse that. I don't really want you to see that green foam on top though. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of burlap to size. This is that burlap ribbon that I get at the um, at Walmart. And I'm just going to glue that to the top of it just to kind of hide that. Now it was sticking up slightly larger than the pie dish. So I'm going to trim it down a little bit because I want to decorate this. I kind of want to make it look like a dessert or something like that. Like kind of a faux dessert. Um, but I wanted to make it really easy as well. So the burlap works great because it's got little holes in it. So I can go ahead and decorate this. And I'm going to use some of these large berries that I found at the Dollar Tree. They're bright red and they look like they kind of have snow on them. And I thought this really looked like something that might be a dessert or something like that. And uh, the color is perfect. They have little wires on them. And I'm just going to start stabbing those down into the foam there. 
Um, it doesn't take that entire length, so two are together. So I just started cutting them with my floral scissors from the Dollar Tree and only with like an inch of wire on there. And that was fine just to kind of poke those down in there. And we're going to use the whole package and just kind of fill up the entire pie dish. And this was such a quick, easy way to fill it because I didn't know kind of what else to put in there besides kind of making it look like a dessert. And there it is, our little gingerbread man warm wishes. I guess pie. <laughs> okay, our next DIY, I wanted to do a gingerbread candle. So I'm going to use one of these um, long red candles from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to simply take the plastic film off. Now you see a white fuzzy ornament there. I was going to use that kind of as a base like that and kind of decorate it, but I kind of decided I like just the candle. So I ended up not using that part, but I'm going to use some of these wall stickers from the Dollar Tree. They have several different kinds that have gingerbread man in them and just peel and stick. Since they're wall stickers, um, they have like a white sticker background. So the color still pops when you put it on something bright red like this. And then I thought maybe some of that red and white gingham ribbon from the Dollar Tree would be really cute on there as well. I'm going to kind of go over this part of the top here where it's a little bit different colors of red and just simply glue that ribbon around. It's going to give me a fun little Christmas touch and very easy. That's basically all we're going to do for this DIY. We have a very easy, very inexpensive little gingerbread candle and it's going to give me some height that I needed. Now, this is another Santa mug that I collected. This one is from Dollar Tree. And then I also got this fake candy um, from the toy section at Dollar Tree. But I really liked the red and white swirl colors. I thought that'd be perfect for like the gingerbread candy theme we got going on on the coffee bar. And I thought I could just display it in this little Dollar Tree coffee mug. I'm going to fill it up with some more of that, that white vase filler from the Dollar Tree. I didn't have quite enough to fill it up though. So we're just going to fill up the base with that plastic bag it came in. And you can use whatever you've got and fill it back up. And um, another easy DIY if you wanted to do this for a tear tray or a coffee bar. Just a cute little candy sucker and none of the mess of using like a real sucker <laughs> and that's how it looks another a great mug for the coffee bar and then i also have this ray dunn mug that i got at tj maxx the thing i love about the santa mug is it's got a little lid and it looks like a santa hat the colors are perfect red and white so we're going to use that as well now, this is the other wall sticker that I was talking about that had, this one has three different gingerbread men in it. They're great size. I kind of want to do some like standalone gingerbread men and I didn't really have anything. So I thought we could make something out of these. So my plan is to attach those to one of those chopping mats from the Dollar Tree um, to give it some rigidity so I can kind of put it on a stand and make some little standalone gingerbread men. Um, and I thought this would definitely be an easy way to do it. So again, I'm using one of those clear cutting mats. You could also use the white ones um, from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to peel and stick those little gingerbread men on there. I picked these two out. There's also another one that's blue with Christmas lights. And I'm just going to simply uh, cut these out. And it's going to get the reason I used the mat is because it's so easy to cut this plastic. If I were to use wood or something like that, there's no way I'd be able to cut this out. And so just cutting all the way around with a pair of scissors. And it's going to give me these great little standalone pieces. Now I want them to stand up on my coffee bar. And so you'll see I have those little wood frames from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. Um, I just kind of want to use the stands on those to make those stand up. The only issue is trying to get off the little frame on them. They're actually glued on and stapled on like fairly well. I had to uh, use some pliers to pull out the staples and kind of break off the wood that was glued on there. They really didn't want those these things to fall apart. But it's gonna give me a great stand. I like to use these. I also like to use the wire ones that they have right now. Um, those are really hard to get the top off as well though. And so I want them to be a bright red to kind of go with our theme. <clears throat> 
And so I'm just using some of that fire red acrylic paint and we're just gonna paint the stand. And then basically we're just gonna attach the little gingerbread men to the front. And it's gonna give us a great little, some pieces that I can kind of sit around the gingerbread houses and stuff like that on my coffee bar. And they're gonna be a super cute. So those are so easy to paint. Just one coat of acrylic definitely is enough. And then I'm just gonna attach the little gingerbread men to the front of the stands with a little bit of hot glue, kind of at an angle, kind of like they're like frolicking or dancing around the coffee bar. And I'm gonna do that with this guy as well. And a very quick, easy way to have a few gingerbread men for your coffee bar. They're so cute. Then I'm, I wanted a Christmas tree, so I got one of these little white bottle brush trees from the Dollar Tree. They have a lot of really cool different designs this year. And I'm not gonna do anything with this. I like the wood stand, I like the white. I think it's gonna go great with my red and white that I'm using on the coffee bar. And so this little guy is ready to go. It's gonna give me a little bit of height too. This is another Ray Dunn mug that I have for my collection. This is the Red Mary one. I got this at TJ Maxx and I love those. I thought we could make this one kind of into a planter. Bring a little greenery in. So I got some of those glittered eucalyptus at the Dollar Tree. You've seen I've used the white version on this on one of my other videos. This is the green version. It's a little long and extremely hard to cut the wire in there. The first one I cut off, but the second one I end up just folding <laughs> because it is hard to get it off, even with the floral scissors. So I just fold that one. I just have a little piece of foam in there. Um, it's kind of small though. So I'm gonna use some of this reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree to fill up the open space around there and help that stand up straight. It's also gonna add a little bit more greenery to it and it's gonna give me some height as well as I love having a plant piece on my coffee bar. Then I'm gonna use some of these little garland ties from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna kind of wind these around my coffee mug bar and around each shelf just kind of as filler like I would on a tear tray to give some greenery and make it look super festive. I'm also gonna use two pieces to make a simple little pin it banner to go across the front of my coffee bar. I love to do that. And two of them is just about the right length for my coffee bar shelf. So I'm just gonna wind them together and use that as my ribbon. I picked up these little gingerbread men stickers from the Dollar Tree. There's like two girl ones with bows and two with bow ties. And I usually like to do like an odd number on these, but there are actually four. So to get around that, I'm gonna use, this is a different kind of a red and white gingham um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna cut off little pieces of that. I'm gonna do five of them all the same length and I'm just gonna simply tie those on. It's gonna give me a pop of red and white. It's gonna look really cute. And that way I can have like an odd number of the five ribbons and then we can have like four spaces in between, one for each one of the little gingerbread men. And just kind of spacing those out. And then I just need to attach these stickers to the front. Um, I don't really want to use the sticker. I'm afraid that will fall off. So I'm just gonna glue the sticker back with hot glue to it, to the greenery. And this was such an easy little um, banner for the front of my coffee bar and it turned out so festive and cute. I love it. And I made these last year for my coffee bar. These are Dollar Tree red mugs. I bought four of them and I just used white vinyl and my Cricut. I used the skinny font that I got on DeFont and I made my own personalized Ray Dunn mugs using items from the Dollar Tree. So inexpensive and you can make them say, whatever you want. Hey guys, it's time for the final reveal of our coffee bar, but I wanna give a huge thank you first to the following Crafty Beach Bums for sending me super thanks and super chats in my videos. You guys are the best and you really help support a small channel like mine on YouTube. And also for these Crafty Beach Bums for buying me a coffee. Thank you, Shelly, for the three coffees you just bought me. And it's time for the final reveal. I think it turned out so cute. What do you think? Be sure to 
put your favorite DIY below. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Half of you guys aren't even subscribed. Merry Christmas. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Just come in to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said It is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline Painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Thank you so much for watching and if you want more Crafty Beach, YouTube thinks that you might enjoy this video right here.